as I said in my previous video, or one of my previous video, because I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, I want to share more of my intentional healing journey. So, um, with this video, as you can probably see by the title, I'll be sharing with you my womb healing aspect of my journey. I'm focusing on the womb healing aspect of my journey because as women, our heart experience but our womb hold those experiences. So when experiencing traumatic events, as much as we may try to forget about what happened or let enough time pass so that it just doesn't affect us anymore, our womb hold on to those traumatic experiences and holding on to all of that in the womb can lead to womb diseases. With going through everything that I've been through in the past couple years, um, being physically and sexually assaulted and so forth by the father of my children, I am really diving deep into my womb healing and this is a part of that. So what are you what you're about to see in the next few clips is some of the things that I am doing to heal my womb and release all of the trauma and negative energy that may be harboring in that area in my sacral chakra excuse all of the background noise and my son just woke up so he's coughing being that i barely ever get any like me time i kind of just have to fit me in wherever i can and he was taking a nap but i guess he heard my voice and woke up so this is what we're dealing with so in the next few clips you're gonna see me doing womb yoni steaming womb massage uh, changing out my waist beads right now I am wearing the same waist beads that I've been wearing for the past year or so or year and a half or probably even longer from the time I've been in college I've consistently worn waist beads and throughout different phases of my life I changed them out and now it's time to get rid of these and grace my sacral area with new waist beads that's you know not holding on to any previous energy one of the things I want to point out I have not been able to yoni steam since leaving my last relationship so I do want to cleanse my womb of the energies of my previous sexual partner which is my children's father so this is very important to me I'm doing a seven day series of steaming I wanted to steam I wanted to do a postpartum yoni steam but I was not able to just I just didn't have the support long story the point is this will be my first time doing a series of steaming in over a, over a year because you can't steam while you're pregnant so it's been a while so it's time to cleanse my womb and um, just do a lot of womb healing affirmations deep breathing visualization etc so I'll get I'll speak over the, the next few clips and discuss in detail exactly what it is I'm doing so if you're interested keep watching so let's get right into it to do my yoni steams i use this large glass measuring cup which is perfect because it has a handle so i don't have to burn myself when lifting it and to make my yoni steam tea mix i'm using gem Solistic cleansing formula and that can be found on my website and just a quick tip here to yoni steam i always recommend using glass or at least stainless steel or some kind of earthware but you never want to use plastic and you also want to use purified or spring water today i'm using spring water so i'm just going to let that steep for about 10 minutes and this is my yoni steam setup i'm using this outdoor camping toilet seat and um, I do have a steam box now. I'll put a picture of that up on the screen. But I did record this when I was still using the camping seat, which is great because it's a way to steam and still be comfortable without having to be kneeled down on the floor. 
and um, I love the steam box because you don't have to use the sheet or blanket to wrap around you to keep the steam trapped in but um, this works perfectly as well so if you're looking for a better way to steam I recommend getting one of those toilet seats so as you can see I am nursing my baby here because he woke up but here I was just reciting some warm affirmations and I would just share with you all some of the affirmations I was reciting to myself. My womb is safe, my womb is protected, my womb is sacred, my womb is divine, my womb is love, my womb is whole, my womb is healed, my womb is free, my womb is radiant, my womb is light, my womb is celestial. My womb is bliss, my womb is liberated, my womb is full of energy, my womb is pure, my womb is powerful, my womb is the seat of my creativity and wisdom. I am balanced with my womb's natural rhythm and I celebrate it. I cycle with ease, expressing divine act of releasing and letting go of what no longer serves a purpose in my life. I give myself permission to create exactly what I need. I trust my womb choice. I allow my womb to speak freely. I am comfortable in my body. I have the power to create worlds. I lovingly forgive and release. I am powerful beyond belief. My hips move mountains. I am free. I am proud of myself. I am worth loving. So those are some of the affirmations I recited while Yoni steaming. And here I just want to show you all what I do with my tea mix after I'm done steaming and that is giving it back to the earth. It can be used as grape fertilizer for um, plants. And now it's time to switch out my waist beads. So these are some of the waist beads I'll be putting on. These are their traditional African waist beads. So they're extra long and they don't come with clasps at the end. So you have to tie them on. But first, I am taking off my old waist beads. And as you can see, there's nothing wrong with these waist beads, but it's just tr it. Look. It's just time to get rid of them. They are holding a lot of energy because I've been wearing them for the past year and a half at the time of making this video. So it just felt good to just release myself of all of the energy that those waist beads were holding. And now I am showing you all how I put on one of the traditional African waist beads. And like I said, you have to tie these on because traditionally you do not take off your waist beads until you're ready to actually cut them off. So here I do not re recommend using a torch. <laughs> Please use a lighter because I almost burnt myself. But this is just one of the traditional waist beads. And here is another waist bead that I purchased, which is a crystal waist bead. And these are just all of my new waist beads. I do not wear all of them all the time, but I just wanted to show you all. So now I will be doing my room massage. This is a completely different day and it is late at night. And I usually do my room massages laying flat on the floor because it's just more comfortable for me. But because the baby was sleeping, I did it in bed so that he don't wake up. And I use my sacred room warming oil for this womb massage. And as you can see, I'm just massaging my womb in a circular motion, moving left to right, doing small circles, big circles, up and down. And um, this is just great for increasing the blood circulation in your womb. It helps tone and strengthen your uterus and I also find that it helps with bloating like if I'm feeling bloated I just give myself a womb massage and 
it helps get all of that extra air out of my my um, midsection as well so um, I just take my time and I think I did this for about five to ten minutes and um, just want to take your time relax and massage your room and connect and that's about it so here I am drinking my sacred woman herbal tea mix and um, doing my visualizations so with the visualizations you just want to picture a white healing light around your room and just invite healing energies so i hope you all can hear me but that's about it for this video i just wanted to share with you all some of the things that i was doing to i guess you can say spring clean my room so besides the yoni steaming the womb massages and drinking my herbal tea i also did a chaotic which i guess i can get more into that in another video but because i've been either pregnant or breastfeeding for the past four years i haven't been able to do like a major detox cleanse using herbal teas because there's a lot of herbs that you cannot use while you're pregnant or breastfeeding so a colonic is another way to detox the body get rid of a lot of waste that's backed up in the colon without drinking those strong herbal teas that can affect the baby whether you're pregnant or breastfeeding so that is what i did you know march is the season for spring cleaning not just your physical space but your body your mind and your spirit and i've been in full motion of doing all of that because my birthday is in may and this year for my solar return my gift to myself is being the best version of myself that i've been in a long time i just really want to pour into me this year and i'm starting that by being the healthiest version of myself and that's something that's important to me and um it's pretty much my gift to myself so from now well i'll say i started in march so march is pretty much over now but going into april and may i'll be continuing my journey of spring cleaning my body mind and spirit because may 21st I'm just going to be glowing and happy and flowing and growing and uh, just pouring love and light into myself because I've been giving so much of my energy that it's about time that I just refill my cup. Like I cannot pour from my empty cup anymore. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and you will be seeing more videos like this in terms of what I do for self-care, how I am practicing my intentional healing, how I implement my products into my life to give you an idea of how you can implement it into yours. Gem Solistic is a reflection of me and I practice what I preach. And I also just want to share that with you all. So, to all of my melanated women out there, protect your womb by any means necessary. And to everyone else watching, protect your peace by any means necessary. I wish you all love, light, and prosperity. And you all will see me in my next video. Peace. Oh, no, in a house, and we safe in love. Make you proud, make you proud.